हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इन रेबिट आर्किटेक्चर आई एम आर्किटेक्ट सोनू राय फ्रॉम ग्लैड स्टूडियो एंड इन दिस टुडे वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू हाउ टू इंसर्ट पीडीएफ फाइल एंड जेपीजी फाइल इन रेबिट एंड व्हाट इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ इंसर्टिंग पीडीएफ एंड जेपीजी इन रेबिट सो आई एम गोइंग टू माय इंसर्ट टैब एंड इफ आई एम क्लिकिंग हियर यू कैन सी there are two two terms one is link pdf and next one is import pdf and another one is link image and import image so what is the difference so difference is similar like my last video tutorial i told you about how to link cad file and import cad and what is the advantage of linking cad file so if you are linking cad file and you, got, you are working simultaneously with uh, cad and revit project and if you are making any changes in cad file that uh, file changes will be applied simultaneously in revit also by going to manage here manage and you can select this manage link here so that changes you can do with the help of manage link so similarly if you are going to insert your uh, pdf by import pdf and link pdf and if you are working in pdf file and you are making any changes in that pdf file that also you can reload by going to this manage and manage link so you have to be very uh, cautious in inserting and linking your cat pdf or jpg image so now if your drawing is final so you can select this import pdf also and import images also so i am going to show you uh, how to import pdf first so i am going to select this import pdf and now i am going to my folder where i have saved my pdf file and now i am going to select this pdf file and one of the project i am selecting this ground floor option one and i'm clicking this and this is ground floor option one dot pdf and this file of type is portable document format pdf so i'm clicking open and now this window will appear here import pdf and the file name is here page uh, number of pages is one so, and this one is toggles between a small or large thumbnail previews so you can toggle in between so if you want large view you can toggle in between if you want a small you can click select this so next is re resolution of your pdf file so the less the resolution the less quality of pdf file will be appear and the higher the resolution the more clear your pdf file will be so i am going to select 300 dpi dot per inch and now i am going to click ok and this page size is iso a4 and you can see these properties and if i am clicking ok here you will see some changes here so i am going to click ok and now i am going to paste somewhere here i will click once and your pdf is inserted here and you can see in properties it is showing some settings of pdf and width height and scale horizontal scale and vertical scale is also there so you need not you need not worry about that and this is lock proportion is checked and this one is important terms enable snaps so if you are uh, seeing this you can check this enable snaps and you can also click here so this definition shows that enable snapping to vector data in an imported pdf you can enable snapping for a raster pdf file so you can uh, only enable snaps for a vector pdf file and you can't do for raster pdf file so what is the difference between raster and vector pdf file so i will tell you if uh, the raster content if you can identify uh, if you want to identify what is raster content in PDF, so you can see attempt to highlight text in PDF with your mouse. If you cannot highlight the text, the content is raster. So a raster image, it will pixelate. If the image or text gets blurry or pixelated, it is raster file. And if it's not pixelating, it's a vector file. 
and in vector files as you know if you know photoshop you can uh, clearly understand what is raster and vector so vector files are created from mathematical model and raster file consists of series of pixels so if you know uh, photoshop you can clearly understand between raster content and vector content so uh, my file is this is vector so we can make a uh, editing in this so uh, i want to uh, trace this plan here this is simple residence plan and i want to trace this so now we have inserted if i am selecting this you can see this settings in properties i am going to enable this snaps or you can also click here i am going to enable snap and now you can snap in between these lines so if you are want to create wall and trace this so i am going to select this wall and you can see now it is snapping it is selecting the lines which are here and you can easily trace your wall line here you can see so uh, if i am selecting here this line you can see this is snapping in between you can see these lines is snapping here so this is vector file so we can easily trace this but this wall is uh, not to the scale if i am selecting finish face exterior and if i am selecting this this wall is 8 inches but this wall thickness is very large so we have to rescale to adjust to this because my actual wall is this outer wall is 9 inches or 230 mm and uh, so I am going to first change this wall to 9 inches I am going to edit type duplicate this and I will rename this as 9 inch wall here and I will quickly edit and I will change the thickness from 8 inches to 9 inches here and you can also change the material if you want and I will change the height to 10 feet now if I am uh, tracing this wall you can see here this is lesser than the actual thickness of this PDF file is more so I want to make this to 9 inches if I am taking the measurement of these two wall sides of wall it is 1 feet 1 inches and some fraction is there so I am going to rescale to 9 inches so I will first select this PDF file here and now I will select this one a scale and now I will use this graphical method I will click once here and next one is here and I will reduce and I will type the value 9 inch and hit enter so now our PDF file is rescale this wall width that is 9 inches can cross check this and this is 9 inch so now I am you can easily trace now I am going to select this 9 inch wall and I will show you now this is perfectly placed here can trace column also likewise you can work in if you want to uh, make a 3d of this from pdf file you can make so you can insert any building project so in revit it's a, since it's a beam software you can work on electrical also you can work in plumbing also you can insert multiple PDF files if you are working on large projects. So, this inserting PDF is very handy. And if you go to your 3D view here, you will not see your PDF file. You can only see your uh, modeling here. And we can work on your modeling. So, this is the advantage of using PDF in Revit. So, always you have to enable snaps here. Or tracing so uh, now I will show you how we can insert your JPG file and I will cancel this 
and now I am going to create a new file here architecture template ok and now I will go to insert and now I will show you import image here and now I will go to my download folders here and I, I have saved here one jpg file that is also of residence you can simply insert and you can work on your 3d projects by inserting this plan and you can select this and you can take the measurement here so this outer wall is 1 feet 3 inches and actual thickness is 9 inches so like pdf file you can rescale this and you can also see this some settings here and you can rescale like pdf also i will tell you one difference if i am bringing my mouse to this link pdf you can see inserts a link to a pdf into a model v view and you can only link pdfs in 2d views you cannot link a pdf in 3d view so you should make sure that you should import only 2d file so uh, you cannot uh, insert a 3d view here and same applies here you cannot import insert 3d view and same applies for this image also and you can only link images in 2d view so you should be aware of this so i think this tutorial will be very helpful for you so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel in the next video tutorial i will come with some more interesting topic topic in revit so thanks for watching bye bye